It's plant protein. Wow, all right. I'm, Whatever I'm that just means. doing the sausage here. Should we do the wedding? No. Oh, too late. I'm Chris Byer. I'm Kevin Ryan. And today we are testing vegan, vegan Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is typically turkey. Typically. You think about turkey, turkey, turkey. So if you're a vegan, the mainstay of your Thanksgiving was probably a tofurkey. Yeah. That's the most popular vegan thing to eat on Thanksgiving. It's been around since 1995. And it looks absolutely disgusting. It's kind of weird, like a God. beige loaf. So in 2018, there are, are far more options for a vegan Thanksgiving than that disgusting tofu. Yeah. Right? One of them is Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat, a company super successful, probably one of the most notable popular companies that are making meat substitute. They meats. make the Beyond Burger you might have seen. What is in, it's not meat then. Not is meat. It meat. It's a plant-based protein that uh, they perform some magic to in a laboratory somewhere, and then voila, we've got meat. If you had in front of you a veggie option and a meat option, what would you go with? I'm going meat every time. I'm every like, time, no matter what it is that oh, we're yeah. talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I rarely have a meal that does not have meat in it. Ice cream. Put bacon bits in it. Kevin and I have starved ourselves. We have starved ourselves like you do before you have Thanksgiving dinner. This is true. And we're going to stuff ourselves with Beyond Meat meat. So Chef Carolina here is preparing us a, how are we saying this? A meal with vegan meat. This is what a vegan Thanksgiving dinner tastes like in 2018. We're very excited. Yeah, let's eat. Whoa. A pumpkin risotto pumpkin with the risotto. Beyond Bratwurst sausage, cremini mushrooms, okay. and then some parsley. How does it smell, Kevin? It smells like pumpkin -y. All okay. right, here we go. All right, here we go. Should first. we try the sausage first? No, yeah, let's, let's start with the risotto, get our feet wet. I think, I think it's about putting it all on the fork. Yeah, you're doing it? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. It tastes really good. In good. fact, I would argue that this tastes better than like your typical sausage. Well, you know, it has um, 16 grams of plant-based protein. Okay. Is that more protein than- Fact in one. It is more, it's two grams more protein than regular Two sausage. grams more protein than your typical dead cow. Chef Carolina. You want more? You want You're more? You're gonna keep feeding us. Should I eat more or is there like you, another? You have two more dishes. Save room, okay, like, room. Two more dishes there coming. There is more. Mm -hmm. That was 10. I give it an eight, which is a very high praise. So you're cooking us the next course now. The meatloaf. Okay. Oh yeah. Use the Beyond Burger wow. in this case. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it, co it cooks the same way as normal Yeah, meat? I think I think like, again, yeah, it's not like rocket science. Uh-huh. So it tastes like it and it kind of cooks like it too, you it know? The sausage, the sausage, the oh. sausage. That's my time. Oh, oh. I'm ready for more food. We got the meatloaf uh -huh. here, which, oh, yeah. you know, is, you cook it just the same way you would Kevin's going with, in regu already. with regular um, He's like, quiet um, you. Let me power, uh, uh, right, right. Uh, but it has a bunch of herbs and spices and you bake it for like 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. And then we have the cranberry sauce, of course, because yep. we're having Thanksgiving. Absolutely. You gotta do that. And then the, this is a cauliflower potato puree. Wow. So there's um, no butter in no there. No butter. Okay. No butter. Cheers. Whoa. I would have no idea this wasn't um, meat, like a yeah. like beef. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is so good. Wow. Nice and crisp around the edges and then tender on the inside. What did you like better, the risotto? Or the meatloaf. I think I like the risotto slightly better. I like the risotto. This is delicious, but the risotto was out the of this world. so good. Oh, yeah. So we've had two dishes now, yeah. and they've both been delicious, yeah. and neither of them have had meat in them. No. And I feel like you could serve these to meat eaters and either tell them or don't tell them they're probably gonna like it. Wow. You're filling up, I can tell. You ate all the meat already. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my God. We're about to move on to dessert. I'm ready for dessert. So an apple crisp is normally not vegan. Well, it usually has butter. Okay. And this one is right. vegan and gluten free. Wow. wow. Oh, look at that. Thank you. This is vegan apple crisp yeah. alamodi. Alamodi. So yeah, instead of using butter, I actually use coconut oil. Okay. Uh-huh. In this case, I did pumpkin seeds and hazelnuts. It's also gluten, oh. it's also gluten free. Oh my God. Wow. It smells so good. <laughs> um, I use gluten free oats. Oh my God. This is a non-dairy oh ice cream. Yeah. There's so many out there. So. <laughs> well, even... well, well, enjoy, let me know what you think. Oh, I don't wanna like all. watch over you guys. Mm. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. That was good. Before this experience today, if I were to say like Thanksgiving dinner, you looking forward to it? What's the first thing that happens in your mind? Turkey, stuffing, mashed potato, green bean casserole. Yeah, yeah. But now, yeah. how do you think of it? If you can find a way to skip the meat and make it delicious. Which we have. Which we have, then I'm all for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm meat agnostic. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's meat. If it tastes good, it tastes good. It's better for you. Yeah, yeah. It's better for the environment. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it can it be freaking delicious. Yeah. Regardless of whatever you're gonna cook for Thanksgiving dinner, we can now say that vegan Thanksgiving has been ink, ink tested. tested. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy vegan Thanksgiving. Ooh.